National Science Board, Wikipedia article audio. America's Investment in the Future Background Composition Work of the National Science Board Committees Science and Engineering Indicators Honors The National Science Board of the United States establishes the policies of the National Science Foundation within the framework of applicable national policies set forth by the President and the Congress. The NSB also serves as an independent policy advisory body to the President and Congress on science and engineering research and education issues. The Board has a statutory obligation to, render to the President and to the Congress reports on specific, individual policy matters related to science and engineering and education in science engineering, as Congress or the President determines the need for such reports. The President appoints the 24 board members. NSF's director serves as an ex officio 25th member and is appointed by the President and confirmed by the Senate. The National Science Board was created through the National Science Foundation Act of 1950, there is established in the executive branch of the government an independent agency to be known as the National Science Foundation. The foundation shall consist of a National Science Board and a director. As an independent federal agency, NSF does not fall within a cabinet department, rather NSF's activities are guided by the National Science Board. The board was established by the Congress to serve as a national science policy body, and to oversee and guide the activities of NSF. It has dual responsibilities to a. provide independent national science policy advice to the President and the Congress, and b. establish policies for NSF. The Board meets five times per year to review and approve major NSF awards and new programs, provide policy direction to NSF, and address significant science and engineering-related national policy issues. It initiates and conducts studies and reports on a broad range of policy topics, and publishes policy papers or statements on issues of importance to U.S. science and engineering research and education enterprises. The board identifies issues that are critical to NSF's future, and approves NSF's strategic plan and the annual budget submission to the Office of Management and Budget. Specifically. The board analyzes NSF's budget to ensure progress and consistency in keeping with the strategic direction set for NSF and to ensure balance between new investments and core programs. The president appoints 24 members of the National Science Board for six-year terms. The NSF director serves as an ex officio 25th member. Every two years, one-third of the members rotate off of the board and eight new members are appointed to serve for six-year terms. Board member nominations are based on distinguished service and eminence in research, education, and slash or public service. Members are drawn from academia and industry, and represent a diverse range of science, technology, engineering, and education disciplines and geographic areas. The board has two overarching roles, one provide oversight and policy guidance to the National Science Foundation, and two serve as an advisor to Congress and the President on matters concerning science and engineering in the U.S. Much of the background work of the National Science Board is done through its committees. By statute, the board has an executive committee which exercises such functions as are delegated to it by the board, and such other committees as the board deems necessary. As of January 2009, the board has five other standing committees. One of the ways in which the National Science Board contributes to the U.S. science and engineering enterprise is with its biennial Science and Engineering Indicators Report. 
Mandated by Congress, this report is produced in collaboration with NSF's Statistical Center and provides comprehensive federal data on a wide range of measurements that show us how the U.S. is doing. These reports include information about K-12, international comparisons of investments in R&D, workforce trends, and public attitudes and understanding about science. Indicators serves as a resource for a wide range of users that can include policymakers at all levels, educators, analysts, reporters, the broad scientific community, and the general public. NSB highlights particular themes it sees emerging from indicators such as the increasing global role that China and other Asian nations play in the SNT landscape and talks with a wide range of stakeholders about these. The most comprehensive source of high quality, policy neutral data on the US and international SNE enterprise. NSB is required by law to provide to Congress and the President by January 15 of even numbered years. Under NSB guidance, Indicators is prepared by NSF's National Center for Science and Engineering Statistics. Covers global R&D investments and knowledge-intensive production, K-12 and post-secondary STEM education, workforce trends, and composition state-level comparisons, and public attitudes and understanding of science and related issues. Chapters, SEI includes seven chapters that follow a generally consistent pattern, an eighth chapter, on state indicators, presented in a unique format, and an overview that precedes these eight chapters. The chapter titles are An Appendix Volume Available online contains detailed data tables keyed to each of the eight chapters listed. Digest of Key Science and Engineering Indicators In 2006, the board produced a pilot digest or condensed version of SEI comprising a small selection of important indicators. The digest serves two purposes to draw attention to important trends and data points from across the chapters and volumes of SEI and to introduce readers to the data resources available in the main volumes of SEI. While the 2012 version of Science and Engineering Indicators notes this survey data and the survey problem, the NSB continues to minimize this data and does not draw attention to the unfavorable comparison to European and Japanese public understanding of these scientific issues. Companion to SEI, a National Science Board Policy Statement, or Companion, authored by the Board, draws upon the data in SEI and offers recommendations on issues of concern for national science and engineering research or education policy, in keeping with the board's statutory responsibility to bring attention to such issues. Recent SEI Companions The NSB has produced policy guidance in the area of STEM education for several decades. In 2007-2008 the NSB developed a national action plan for addressing the critical STEM education needs of our nation while providing specific guidance for the role of NSF in the national STEM education enterprise. In January 2009, the NSB approved and transmitted a set of six recommendations to the Barack Obama administration. These recommendations outline a series of steps to improve STEM education and foster innovation to ensure both scientific literacy among the public and ensure global competitiveness in the 21st century. From the STEM Education Recommendations Each year, the Board honors achievement in public service in science, engineering, and technology through its two honorary awards, the Van Evar Bush Award and the NSB Public Service Award. Awards are presented during a ceremony held in Washington, D.C. Several hundred members of the science and education communities including White House, Congressional, 
scientific society, higher education, and industry officials gather to celebrate the achievements of those awarded during this event. The Van Evar Bush Award recognizes lifetime contributions to science and public service. The NSB Public Service Award recognizes those who foster public understanding of science and engineering. The board opens nominations for its honorary awards from June to early October. 2004, an emerging and critical problem of the science and engineering labor force, 2006, America's pressing challenge building a stronger foundation, 2008, research and development, essential foundation for U.S. competitiveness in a global economy, 2010, globalization of science and engineering research, 2012A. Research and Development, Innovation, and the Science and Engineering Workforce, 2012b, Diminishing Funding and Rising Expectations, Trends and Challenges for Public Research Universities.